What's good, everybody? It's Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. Back at it with a Jujitsu Kaisen Chapter 244 review. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, notification bell is on so you don't miss when I drop a new video. We on the road to 5K. So let me just do a quick little review of this and get some theories of what I think is going on now. Uh, this is going right at the heels of as far as the last chapter. So it looks like the last chapter was kind of like everything that was going on with Kenjaku was kind of like a flash back sort of because where we left off with Kajimo getting freaking dismantled out of existence basically <laughs> cleaved in this bitch. Um, we saw Yuji and uh, uh, what's his face, lawyer guy, come through and enter the battle, you know. And so we was left at a cliffhanger and went to the whole Kenjaku thing. I feel like all this is actually going to make super dope sense. But when we see as far as Kenjaku get his head chopped off, everything like that, we go to this chapter, which picks up actually where everything left off when Higuruma, that's the name, uh, and Yuji popped up on Sukuna. So 244, uh, the in, well, Inhuman Makyo Shinjuku Showdown part mother flipping 16 in this joint. Uh, so it's super dope because we see as far as like Yuji's locked the freak in, Higuruma's got, you know, tied in this freaking tie. And Sakuda is smiling. He's grinning. He's just like, yo, I done caught some bodies. Who is next? <laughs> and so we actually get a flashback of what the actual plan is. And so, you know, the plan was as far as to get Sakuna in the domain and as far as Hikaruma's domain and try him uh, for a trial, you know, um, and within this chapter as well, we also find out that me, for one, Miwa can't, you know, will the katana anymore, so she would just get murked. And then we also find out that, um, uh, what's his face with the blood technique says he wants to protect his family and he intends to flee with them overseas. Um, so that was very, very interesting. And so, because I was wondering about it, so I was like, where, where is he? You know, like, he was he was throwing up some numbers as far as, like, you know, the first season and everything like that, so, you know, with his freaking blood manipulation technique and everything like that. So, uh, this was dope. So, we find out as far as, so we get basically this cool backstory and everything like that. Uh, and there's some interesting stuff with Kashimo, which is, it's, it's kind of jacked up because we know that, you know, he was dismantled, cleaved and dismantled out of existence. Like, this is one thing that I've been noticing with JJK. Like, when the, the death is, like, really, really bad, like, they don't even show it, and they show some pretty horrific deaths, but... I was thinking, I'm like, how bad did Mekabaru get murked that they didn't even show his body? Like, you know, they did not show his body. They just showed the mech laid out, you know? Um, <laughs> even when I think about Kashimo, I'm just like, yo, he must have got done in so bad that there's, there's not even anything. That's probably why, because there is not anything left of this motherfucker. But uh, they talk about, you know, Higuruma's, uh, the, the sword to kill in one blow. That would be great. But the ruling may not be confiscation or confiscation or death, right? So that's what's interesting. So we they're trying to get him for the murders in general um, and Shibuya along with like everything else. Uh, but they also thought about what if they're able to try him for all of the stuff he's committed in his lifetime. And that's where he was saying a lot of this could become real hazy, but we can try it out pretty much. Um, you know, they talked about him also uh, possessing Megami. 
Uh, a guilty verdict for a single murder results in 10 years of imprisonment. Killing two people is life imprisonment or death. Three or more usually means death. Sukuna's actions are cruel, selfish, and deleterious to society, so rehabilitation is unthinkable. Even applying the, Nagoya, the Nagoyama criteria would easily result in death in a normal trial. The Nagoya what? Oh, I get it, what? You understand that now you're joking, right? Do you think I'm stupid? So in a, in a normal trial, the totality of his crimes will result in the death penalty. But Higuruma's curse technique tries each crime separately. And I say there's a less than 30% chance of death for just those crimes. So that's going to be a lot of the interesting things. The problem is small offenses attend to big ones. For example, stabbing someone is bloody injury or attempted murder, but the stabber also tears the victim's clothing, which is strictly speaking property damage. You know, so they, it, it basically within this chapter, they're kind of going through the nuances of law in general and different things like that. Um, so that's what's dope about this chapter in general. Um, but we get back as far as when everything, you know, after they go back from the flashback, they also said that Yuta comes back, you know, super quickly afterwards. So we see uh, what's her face is crows. They go to kind of like attack Sukuna and it says Gojo, Kenjaku, Sukuna, guys at that level always shoot my crows down. They're afraid of a direct hit. So landing a hit could do some damage. I distracted him. You're up, Hikaruma. So, boom. He throws down, gets them in the dome. And we also see as far as, like, boom, Hikamu drops as far as his big freaking <laughs> hammer. And then we got Yuji going at Sakuda. Sakuda's still smiling. And then we see Yuji go with these ultimate freaking punches. And we see um, Sakuna have his blade. And he's like, you know, blocking it and everything like that. And he uses three of his hands to block. And Sukuna's all like, what just happened? And then it's just all like, boom, it's time for a, a do-over. Domain expansion, deadly sentencing. A third trial. What if we redo the trial against you but involve Sukuna? Then you can prosecute Sukuna for the slaughter in Shibuya. Wow. Deadly sentencing's three tiers are random, so it won't work. Well, if I request a retrial for a crime that's already been adjudicated and includes Sukuna as a co-defendant, it isn't impossible to continue the trial for the same crime. So, Yuji Ichidori stands accused of mass murder in Shibuya on October 31st, 2018. Boom. Ichidori didn't kill anyone. His confession during the second trial was due to irrational feelings of guilt. The real killer is, and there we see as far as Sakuna smiling. Now, the thing is that Sakuna seems very, very relaxed. So I feel like this, there might be a way, because we gotta remember, Sakuna is also very, very intelligent, you know? So. And there might be a way for him to wiggle his thing way out of this. But, so, let's look at it like this. If he does wiggle his way out, what is going to be... What are they going to do? Yeah, Yuji can throw blows that seem to be affecting Sukuna. But that ultimately isn't going to be enough. Even with as far as Yuji getting acclimated. So, let's just say that he's immune to cleave and dismantle. Let's just say that. Okay, so Sakuga just cleave and dismantle everybody else and just put the work in on Yuji, you know? So I feel like it, the trial is going to go in a way... So before we get into theories, we'll just say, okay, so basically to wrap up this chapter, pretty much we're finding out as far as how things are coming into place. You know, there was that switch over to Kenjaku... Uh, happening right when Yuji and uh, Higuruma come through because as far as everything needed to be laid out with this whole Yuta situation 
in killing Kenjaku or seemingly killing Kenjaku. So we get here, we also find out more of the plan as far as like the, the nuances and there's key things like I don't think Miwa was included in the homie with the blood manipulation even like Chozo. I don't think none of these people were included just to like randomly be put in there. I really don't think anything that's been done was like that even if it may appear to be that way. So we get that we get to the actual battlefield itself we see as far as yuji and this new power up being able to affect sakuna in a way that it's making him react so there's that before we can even get anything that sakuna says beyond that higuruma comes down gets him in the domain expansion so now we're here and we find out as far as this whole third retrial and everything going on with that so that is is about this chapter which is super dope i think there is a break next week if i'm not mistaken now theories on everything that's going on there's a lot of crazy theories that's going on there's a lot of crazy theories from yuta coming back and is actually controlled by kenjaku to you know kashimo being the kind of like red heron for gojo's return as far as the whole mythos behind everything from everything that i'm seeing what we can expect from 245 is definitely the trial i think we may get one or two chapters in regarding to the trial and there may be a confiscation I think that at the very least, they may get a confiscation, which will hopefully level. I wouldn't even say it's a full-fledged level out the playing field. I just think that each thing is like chips on the board to chip down to where maybe Yuji can do a decisive blow. But I'm thinking in regards to the overall storyline, we still need to understand what's going on with Kenjaku because he said his will will be inherited. So what's about to go on with that? So I think 245, we're definitely going to get a trial, whether I think it'll last more than a chapter or two. I don't know. It depends on what things need to be fleshed out. Realistically, they could kind of get it done in a chapter, but I feel like there's going to be some things revealed pretty soon, whether it be through the court or afterwards and that's going to change the game you know so i i don't know it's going to be very interesting let me know y'all's theories and thoughts on what y'all think is going to happen on 245 and let me know y'all's thoughts on chapter 244 anyways it's mr composition mc that writes fiction make sure to leave a like subscribe notification bells on so you don't miss when i drop a new video we're on the road to 5k make sure to check out the description for my music my books my comics yes i do all of that so check it out in the description peace uh yo the black sheep of the black sheeps yo it gets grim when the pen reaps silence when the honor one speaks got no work while everyone sleeps can't sleep on the work that i do the best be ready for the return to fall maybe i should be asleep but these four moon vibes got me in the deep Emotional roller coaster strapped in my seat, ready for a trip to find what I seek. Passing.